Hey guys, Saki Sugi here, back with another random games on Steam episode. Uh, so let's see what we get here today. Pull a 7 Hurt Plus games. Let's see what we get randomized. So we get Puzzle Gate. Oh boy, another puzzler. <laughs> oh, puzzles and me, they just really don't match too well. So Puzzle Gate, let's look it up here. Escape from Puzzle Gate. Interesting. It says it's on my Steam, but, you know, I'm not actually seeing that. What? Oh, Escape From. Okay, so it is definitely the Escape From Puzzle Gate. I thought it was just plain old Puzzle Gate. So this is something I got in a bundle a few weeks ago. It's giving me a lot of recent things I've been getting lately. Let's see. So go ahead and hit next. It's only 104 megabytes. So a pretty simple and straightforward game. Looks like it's got a uh, user agreement. <laughs> so it shouldn't take long to finish. Let's look at the store page first of all and get an idea how it looks and everything. Maybe it's going to be a kind of a cutesy kind of game. Looks a little bit like a platformer. <laughs> it's got some weird looking RPG-ish kind of stuff here. Um, it's got pretty bad reviews too. Looks like it only just came out like in October. So so we got it installed here. So we'll go ahead and launch the game and get ready to play guys. Alright guys. So we got Escape from Puzzle Gate loaded up and ready to go. So I'm watching the intro really quick. Kind of liking the uh, music so far. Very peaceful. Pretty neat animated drawing there. <laughs> oh, grass. Don't see that every day. <laughs> Trees. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to skip the intro. As much as I want to see the development of the intro. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, you know... It seems like it might be kind of like a kid's game. That's what I'm thinking this is. Um, the drawings, you know, I, I've seen some bad drawings before. You know, I think Robot Exploration Squad was kind of bad drawings. It was acceptable, but this looks acceptable too. But I would say it's one of those kind of distinct styles. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the game. Uh, oh, so you got easy, medium, hard, gradual. What is gradual supposed to mean? I don't even know. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit medium. Don't like that big of a challenge. What's taking them so long? They're normally back by now. Ken's talking. Might be Ken from Street Fighter. <laughs> I wish they'd let me tag along just once. I know I wouldn't mess up this time. But no, I get hurt once and they think it's too dangerous. Russell, Russell. Oh. <laughs> Dad, you're back. This guy looks nothing like his father. Like the hair color and everything just looks... They don't look even alike, like at all. <laughs> so no narration, but they kind of laugh. Got one heck of a haul, though. Oh, what did you catch this time? Tell me, tell me. Whoa. Haha, -ha, whoa there. Don't worry. <laughs> Once we cook Aww. it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dear, why do you always tease him like that? Look how excited he is. These are my parents. So it's definitely looks lo looking like kind of like a visual novel style kind of game. I didn't really see that in the description. So his parents are master hunters. They can catch pretty much anything, even dragons. Me, I'm nothing special. Well, have a little confidence, kid. He's just too small. He gets in the way. I caught a rabbit once. <laughs> <laughs> Soup's on. So I'm starving. We travel a lot. That's okay. So I'm trying to narrate this as quick as I can because I don't want to spend all day narrating an entire story. Ah. There's something hard in my soup. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. He <laughs> got one of the feet properly. What a noob. It's a foot. It's all scaly. Dragon's foot. You guys caught a dragon. Just a little one. Wow, he killed a baby dragon. Put Takes it out with a spoon, dries it off on his jacket. Souvenir, a little severed <laughs> foot. <laughs> Look, severed foot. Now I'm a dragon hunter too. <laughs> oh dear. You sure are. Not just any dragon hunter, the bravest. Yeah. Alright, two warriors, calm down. It's late and we should get some sleep. Have you even ate yet? Aww. Mom. Listen to her, it's getting dark. Alright. <laughs> I do want to go with them someday. I'm small, but I'm smart, too. I'm pretty sure that's enough, right? Well, if you have a gun, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> Wake up, Ken. 
We're going for breakfast. Can you stay here a bit? Sure. All right, take care. If this game starts giving me hentai or something, I'm going to freak out. I, don't, I hope it doesn't do anything like that. If it does, I'm done. <laughs> Just always question, questioning the innocence of things. There's nothing to do here. <laughs> I'll go exploring. That should be fun. I know my way around. I'll be back before they notice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he runs through the trees, laughing as he goes. Soon he's deep in the forest and nothing seems as familiar as he thought it would be. Oh, surprise, surprise, he got lost. I don't remember any of this. No, no, I can't be lost. I have to go home. Mom's come back, comes back, and I'm not there. I don't want to think about that. I have to keep going. I have to find my way back. He runs faster and faster. doesn't recognize anything. Gets more worried. Thud. <laughs> Wah! Sniff. I'm really lost. I'll never find my way back. This kid is such a noob. And did he put that dragon's claw in behind his ear? What? What is wrong with this kid? Holy crap. I'll be stuck in this stupid forest forever. What's that? A door? What's a door doing out here? Doesn't look old either. Does someone live here? Wait. <laughs> someone lives here. Maybe I can get help. Yeah, I'll just go in and ask. Sure. Why not just knock first? That is the loudest creak ever. Door slowly opens. Ah, it's so heavy. I think almost there. Oh! <laughs> he's sucked in like he's falling from a great height. Thud! Ugh, what happened? Ugh! Th this is the force. Where am I? Oh, there's another door. Well, maybe I can get out again. Purchase the door. A guard of some sort stands beside it with his eyes closed. There are four key shaped holes. And what looks to be a puzzle. Oh, joy. A set of rotating tiles with numbers on them were also embedded in the door. A puzzle? Maybe I have to solve it to open the door. I can do that. I'll be out of here in no time. Alright, let's try it. Alright, guys, so I have to actually record these puzzle segments through my monitor perspective. I know it seems like kind of shabby, but you know, I've tried and tried to figure out why I can't record the puzzle seg segments in full screen, but I can't. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, it looks like a pretty simplish puzzle here. It doesn't look like it gives me much time to solve it though. Uh, one of those little tile scramble kind of dealies here. Uh, it looks like I'm making a little bit of progress. Very. It doesn't give me much time at all, though. So I'm making my way over there. That needs to be down there. That needs to be up there. I don't need to move that stuff. Last tile rotates to zero, and Ken hears a loud lock before the puzzle resets itself. Ah. That's not fair. I didn't have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, this guard looks like a... A ghetto Egyptian or something. <laughs> a ghetto medieval Egyptian English knight. That's what he looks like to me. Of course you can't. The door's still locked. No one can solve it without the keys. The keys? He remembers the key slots above the puzzle. Oh, those. Can you tell me where they are? I really need to go home. What? You think I'd just tell you where the keys are? It's my job to guard this door. Run along, little child. Continue to be lost. Never mind me asking about your parents. <laughs> I can't let just anyone in. I don't want in. I want out. I can't tell you. Now go away. He waves his spear at the child threateningly. <laughs> this guy is threatening the little kid. Oh. oh, okay. Don't kill me, bro. Ken backs away reluctantly. He doesn't want to give up yet, but there seems to be no other way. He sits down on the ground, nearly ready to cry, when he hears something in the distance. A strange tan creature is sleeping by the side of a dirt road. It seems familiar, but Ken can't think of it immediately who it, of what it is. Whatever it is, it has a happy face and seems friendly. He approaches slowly. Uh, hello there, Mr. Um... The small creature yawns loudly. Oh, what is it? Who's there? <laughs> um, my name is Ken. I'm lost. I need to find my way back home. Ken? I never heard of a Ken. You never played Street Fighter? Ah! Wait a second, you're a human. How'd you get here? Yeah, I came through that door. You mean the puzzle gate? That's impossible. So that's where the name of the game comes from. 
Possible? What do you mean? No one's came through that door in... Counts his paws. No one's really came in a long time. It's locked. I know, the guard told me I need four keys to lock it. Wasn't the guard human though? What is, what is going on here? I need to get home. He remembers something. You're a sphinx, aren't you? Y yeah I knew it. You're guarding this road, aren't you? Where does it go? Does it go home? Eh? No. There are no other roads that go beyond Puzzle Gate. It's the only one. There are a lot of guard roads outside this area, though. Are you going guarding those roads, then? Oh, not really. <laughs> so what do you do, then? <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. I guess that wasn't the answer you wanted, huh? If it helps, I think I remember seeing the keys. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was a while ago, though. A while? How long of a while? Hmm. 50 years, at least. No, no, no. Don't worry. Things don't change much here. I'm sure they're in the same place. This cutesy little thing is talking to him, and he's like 50 years old. Probably. I if you're sure. Oh, my name's Aerie. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Airy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the little ha-has and uhs and grunting stuff is really kind of growing on me. I, I know they couldn't do like the full narration for whatever reason, but that's kind of cute. Your wings. Cool, huh? I'll be able to... <laughs> It'll be way faster to fly. So what are you waiting for? Grab my paws. Sounds a little bit uh, risque, Airy. Ken grabs her paws. Harry lifts off. The wind engulfs Ken. Whoosh! Closes his eyes as his heart race. Soon it's all over. They are in the sky. Whoa, look at it all. <laughs> it sure is pretty up here, huh? Where do you want to go? Alright, so it looks like we got a little bit of... Um, world mapping here world map system so lake sounds really relaxing let's go to the lake here wow that was a really f fast flight <laughs> we're here lake kanawa i'm pretty sure this is where i saw one of the keys a beach oh you're supposed to find a tiny key on the beach this huge yeah i guess that might be a problem let's save it there we go quick save nice uh i guess that might be a problem <laughs> Guess we better start looking then. Hey, wait a minute. You're not listening at all. Okay, what's going on? Oh, we're never gonna find it. Are you sure it was here? I know it was, but maybe. Maybe. Maybe it washed into the lake. Let's go diving. I don't think the water was this high. Hey, come back. It's not that bad. We can go swimming. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm an excellent swimmer. It's not helping, is it? Bubble bobble. <laughs> oh, it says bubble bubble. I would have marked out if it was bubble bobble. Hey, what's that? A tiny ball of green fuzz floats to the surface of the lake. The heck is that thing? Poke poke. Hey man, what's with the pokey? <laughs> it's alive! Of course I'm alive. What did you think I was? A ball of fuzz, to be honest. Close enough, I'm a Kanawa. Oh, that's what the lake is named for. Of course. <laughs> oh, I don't suppose you've seen a shiny key around here, would you? Oh, a blue one? Yeah, probably. You saw it. I have, but... But... Our queen has it. She's really been under the weather, though. No one's been able to talk to her, so I don't think you'll be getting it back. I see. Is that all? Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. <laughs> Is that really it? If she has it, we can just talk to her. It's not that simple. She refused to come out of her castle. Oh. But, I could make a magic bubble for you so you can talk to her at the lake bottom. <laughs> really? You can do that? If you think you can reach her, I'd be glad to. I'd hate to see our queen so unhappy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, let's go. <laughs> the Kanawa backs up happily, blows a bubble, and gets larger and larger. It's big enough to envel envelop, envelop them completely. Envelop them completely. Grammar for you guys. <laughs> Whoa, it's huge. Go on, step in. It won't hurt you. 
Harry pokes it and finds his paw goes right through. <laughs> cool. Come on, Ken. This is awesome. Steps into the bubble and begins bouncing around for emphasis. Bouncy, bouncy. It's so fun. Try it. Haha, -ha, calm down. We still have to get to the queen, you know. <laughs> is everyone ready? Right. I'm ready. Just push the bubble and let's go. Push against the wall with all their strength and the bubble ro rolls forward into the lake. So going down into the lake. Magical little journey. Uh, this is not what I expected at all. Hint. What does hint mean? Let's go ahead and hit hint. Try going up and talking to the candle. Maybe one of them will help us. This is definitely a kid's kind of game, guys. I, uh, you know, it seems like... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's... Uh, very super mature, so you know, I, it's kind of refreshing not having to deal with blood and guts sometimes. You know, I love blood and guts as much as the next guy. I was a big Mortal Kombat fan. I played it semi-competitively. <laughs> uh, so let's talk to one of these things. Queen's been really angry lately. I wonder why. How can anyone be angry when everything is so nice? You're looking for her highness? She lives over there in that castle. You can't miss it. You probably won't be able to get in, though. She's not taking visitors. Don't worry. She'll listen to us, right, Ken? Sure. Uh, why not? Sick lady wants to listen to two random strangers. Ah, the current is so relaxing, isn't it? You should really just try to floating around. I think they could have did the water graphics a little bit better on this. Make it a little bit, like, shimmery, kind of, or something. We're not light enough to float to the surface. Yeah, it's weird. The bubbles keep us weighted to the floor. Can they do that? Yeah, he did say it was magic. Must be. Anyway, we should move on. So, uh, what are we going over here? Halt! Who goes there? Let's through. We need to speak to the queen. Ah, calm down. Please state your business with her highness. So, needed to grab me a little drink of water there, guys. I've been doing my narrating here a little too much. Please state your business with her highness. We're looking for one key of the keys to the puzzle gate, and we are told she has it. My name's Kim. This is Airy. I'm sorry, but we cannot let you pass. Guards, step down. I'll take care of this. But your majesty... Err, I'll take care of it. Wow, she looks really, really angry. <laughs> ah, your highness. Call me Queen Midoriko. So, what is it you want? Well, we heard you had one of the keys. She looks the other way, watching another Kanawa in that distance. Your Highness? I'm not going to make anything of them. They don't care at all. What do you mean? <gasps> you think I mean those puffballs? They just lay around. How are we supposed to be taken seriously if no one does anything? Sorry, you said something about the key? Yes, the key to the puzzle gate. One of them said you had it. <gasps> of course they did. She looks bitter. Just give up. This isn't getting anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Let's go, Ari. Let's just give up. My one chance of escape. We'll just give up. Wait. <laughs> I apologize for her behavior. She isn't normally like this. Recently, she's been to the service more and seen all the other kingdoms being so productive. It's changed her. For now, I don't think there's anything that can be done. But maybe you can give her some of her favorite things. It will calm her for just long enough. Oh, like what? For example, she loves bubbling treasure chests as well as seashells and the magic light orbs that can be found outside of the town. She also enjoys bathing in salt as ice cubes to nibble on. Uh, that's weird. I don't know what that means. <laughs> if you can find those, I will allow you back inside. <laughs> Alright, I think I can do that. Let's go then. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Thank you for that info, I guess. Whatever. What are you thanking them so much for? Don't mention it. If you can appease her for even a moment, it would make everyone much happier. <laughs> I'll do my best. Alright, guys. Back to the monitor perspective here because, you know, I can't record the puzzles for whatever reason. However, this game is coded. So you just gotta find some junk for her. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to it. I think I've already forgotten the controls. Let's look up here. There's a shoe. I see the shoe. Let's see, do I click it and do I hit spacebar? Spacebar, that's it. Okay, so, um, what else? Just randomly cook things. Seashells. You can't, you can't even spot this stuff, but th this is like the easiest puzzle ever. <laughs> Compared to that last thing with the, like, moving slides and tiles that you see in a lot of puzzle games, this is nothing. I mean, you walk around and click stuff. I don't even know. Did I get everything already, I think? I think I probably got everything now. 
Got the seaweed. I don't, you can't pick that up, so... Yep, pretty sure I got everything. So let's head back on and talk to the ladies. Oh, it's you again. What is it? I have something to give you. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, we'll give her the bubble chest. Thank you. She graciously takes the bubble chest and plays with the bubbles. I have something else to give you. Seashells. Oh, some seashells. Thank you. Places them around the room. I have something else to give you. Ice cube. Oh, a couple of ice cubes. How thoughtful. <laughs> Nibbles on them. And something else to give you. Salt. Some salt. Yay. Rolls around in the salt. <laughs> I have something else to give you. Light orb. Oh, it's a light orb. Thank you. Places above her head, taking in the glow. That was really relaxing. I feel great. You wanted the key, right? It only seems fair to give it to you after all that work. So here, take it. How thoughtful. Thank you, thank you very much. By the way, about the other Kanawa? Oh, some RPG-ish here. Uh, they aren't that bad. Don't worry so much about it. They were really worried about you. That's pretty nice. They're really that not oblivious. Not at all. In fact, they all seem really worried about you. Worried about me? See, yeah, seeing you unhappy made them miserable. They were really helpful to us, just for the chance to see you happy again. Aw, that's so sweet. Look at her, look at their little eyes there. <laughs> I see. Maybe I was too hard on them. I'll try not to be from now on. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. <laughs> she blows a stream of smaller bubbles that surround theirs, and they begin to float back to the surface. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, thank you. <laughs> good luck. And good luck to you. The bubble breaches the surface and pops, leaving them both on the shore. <laughs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> so where do you want to go? Ah, okay, let's see. So we need the more more of the keys, right? So let's go... We've been to somewhere relaxing. Let's go to somewhere not so relaxing. Let's go to the mountain. That doesn't look very relaxing. Oh, cool. He's like making him <laughs> fly directly up a mountain. Huff, huff. Ari, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're just heavy. <laughs> I've never flown this high before. Ah, I wish I was older. That would be so much easier with bigger wings. Alright, got me a little sip of water. You don't say. If it helps, it looks like we're really close. Huff, huff. Yeah, I can see the top of a cliff. Ah, maybe we can stop there and rest. If there's anything left to scale, we can do it later. <laughs> <laughs> I like that plan. <laughs> what a nice guy this Aerie is, or girl. Uh, she doesn't really like, you know, let it know, let Ken know that he's a little too heavy. <laughs> Hold on tight, Ken. We're gonna dash to the top. Wow, that was that was sudden. Huff, huff. Hey, looks like the key's already here. That was higher than it looked. I probably shouldn't have brushed it like that. Ken pats Aerie's back. <laughs> Don't worry. Now that we're somewhere safe, you can rest. Hmm. <clears throat> at least there's that. Ah! What's that? Huh? I don't know. It sounds huge. It sounds like rock scraping. Huh? But rocks don't move. <laughs> Maybe there's someone in there who pushed it. You think? Huh? You mean like a trap? Exactly. Shouldn't we run then? Aside from the entrance, there's nowhere to go. I don't think I can fly back. Huh? It's getting closer. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Here it comes. Rawr. <laughs> Holy crap, what the f What is that thing? <laughs> Rock monster. Wait, it's just me. It's okay. Hey? Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> the voice acting on this thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. The rumbling was me. Uh huh. There aren't any traps. Please don't worry. What are you? I'm a golipede. <laughs> we live up on these mountains. We're pretty much the only ones. I love this thing already. I, I really do. I heard you in the entrance of the cave and came to see what it was. I really wasn't expecting another phoenix, though, especially with a human. Especially not a human? 
I didn't think there were any on this side of the gate. Oh, another Sphinx? Sphinx? Yeah, a group of them just passed through here. Interesting. They didn't land in the cave, though, of course. I don't suppose you were traveling with them. Not really, no. Really? You seem to be so young to be traveling alone. He's like 50 years old, bro. Hey, I can take care of myself. Aww, the sad rock monster noise. I didn't mean it like that. Now I'm curious, if you're not with them, what are you doing all the way out here? We're looking for one of the keys to the puzzle game. Key, key. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I remember seeing that. Oh, where? It was in our cave system somewhere. I don't remember the details. Cave system? Yes, all Golden Pea key caves are connected by a series of tunnels. Only... I haven't aged very well. Well, the floor is broken in places, so it's hard to navigate. Deep parts are especially dangerous. Actually, I don't even think any of us can reach the oldest tunnels. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know. If we line up a few of you, head to tell, head to tell over the gaps. What? Oh, head to tell. I should be able to walk across your backs <laughs> to the deeper parts of the cave. Wow, dude. You don't. You, do you want? You're asking the guy to lay down and walk over him. Oh, that might work. What a nice monster. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's nothing. Walking over people is what I do for a living. But do you think you could do that? <laughs> I could certainly try to get a few friends together. Oh, by the way, yeah? Do you think you could grab some of the plants that grow there? Plants in the back of the caves are delicious, but of course, with the conditions of the tunnels are in, we can't reach them ourselves. It's been a long time since I've tasted one. <laughs> of course. That's great. Thank you so much. I'll be right back with as many gula peas as I can find. <laughs> Alright, I think five of us can do it. Doesn't seem like much, but we're very long. I can tell that from the huge giant tongue that's getting dangerously close to this kid's feet. Uh, between all of us, you'll definitely be able to cross. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> let's get that key. That's the spirit. Follow me. Alright, so we swapped to the uh, monitor perspective once again to do this puzzle because I don't know what it is about this game that shuts me down from recording in full screen mode So <laughs> during puzzles. So, you know. Uh, so let's solve this. So this is a really funky kind of puzzle. It's kind of like a rotating mechanic. It's got very odd controls. You can see up here, like left shift and Z mouse wheel, switch the pose and everything. Um, but yeah, you're, this is basically the monster. I know it doesn't look like anything but just tiles with spikes at the end of them, but that's a monster. That's the th long tongue thing that we were talking to. So the idea is to set this down and then travel across it pretty much. So <laughs> it, it is a very weird kind of concept really. So let's try it here. So I put it down and I got that little cherry there. So now we got like um, four more to work with since we had five of those guys helping us out a little bit. So let's use it here. Very, very awkward puzzle here. <laughs> very, very awkward. Uh, so we've got to get one more up there. That looks about right. Perfect, perfect. We got it. Uh, that's four out of four. So let's go ahead and go up to the escape, which is oddly enough up here. You wouldn't think this was a uh, escape here. You think you would go back, but you actually don't. I had to practice this puzzle before recording this segment here, so let's figure this out again. I kind of forgot a little bit, so let's see. Well, uh, that looks like it. So there you go, the simplest puzzles to solve. Just awkward controls and everything, so there you go. Solve the puzzle. Oh, Airy, look, I found it. <laughs> Yay! Mmm! <laughs> Ah, these are more delicious than I remember. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. We're glad to help. Yeah, it's only fair. Oh, before you go, I have one more thing for you. Oh? Flying up here must have been tiring, so please let me make the trip down easier. 
He moves away, revealing a long, steep downwards tunnel. It's our emergency exit. Just climb on my back and slide down. You'll be back on the ground in no time. Wow, wow how cool. Let me save it in case my game crashes or something. <laughs> oh, I'll do that puzzle again. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Help. Hop on. Hop on his smooth back. They made an emphasis to say smooth. A small push sends him hurtling forward at incredible speeds. Ah, too fast, too fast. Whoa, hold on. Crashing. Aw, <laughs> oh, what a landing. You're not dead, so quit complaining. We're back at the bottom of the mountain. Whoa, really? That was a fast exit. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love that laugh. Well, I'd say we're looking pretty good for having slid down so far. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should get going then. So where do you want to go? Alright, so we're done with the mountain, the lake, so let's go to somewhere less rocky. We'll go to the plains here. Plains are very relaxing, swift meadows. Ah, it's so windy. I can barely stand on the ground. Wow! Looks like you're not the only one. Think fast! Huh? Before he can see what it is, Ken catches an object. What is it? Looks like an egg. Yeah, but what's it doing flying through the air? Um, it's windy, and it got dislodged from its nest, clearly, Ken? It's pretty light. I bet it got carried away by the wind. <sighs> thank you, Ari, for the voice of reason there. Maybe. Oh, thank goodness. Bulakit? You found my egg, thank you. I was so worried about it. <laughs> oh, it's no problem. Yeah, we were happy to catch it. Wait, aren't you? Ah, you're a sphinx. Y yeah Get away! Uh oh He's mad. Huh? I know how you are. You probably want to eat it. You should look at the human a little bit more. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat it. He hasn't ate for a while, I would imagine. Hey, you can't treat him like that. He didn't do anything to you. Oh, he's getting beef, son. Hmm, <laughs> fair enough. Anyway, I haven't seen you here before. What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, we're looking for one of the keys to the puzzle gate. Harry here remembers one being here. Puzzle gate, it's been so long since anyone tried to open it. Now that you mention it, I see the key I've seen the key in the forest when I was just a little girl. Really? Yes. The forest is very deep though. I'm afraid you might get lost. Yeah, it looks like it would be deep from here. Yeah, this kid's definitely gonna get lost. Don't worry though, I know the forest like the back of my hand. Should he be saying hand? I mean he's got like wings. Back of he should be saying wings? Nah, I'm nitpicking. On one condition, of course. Oh. Yeah? You see, my, I'm sure my eggs here aren't the only ones being blown away by the wind. Everyone's worried about their nests. So if you would be willing to help catch the eggs, I'll help you find your key. <laughs> Alright, I think I can do that. Let's go ahead and save it and take a quick drink. Alright, Alright, I think I can do that. Harry? No way. Look at him seething with salt. <laughs> Why should I help her? Aw, Aw come on. I'm not like that. I'm not like cannibals. I'm a herbivore sphinx. Please, Ari, for me. What a bond in such short notice. I guess I could. It's alright, Ari. The faster we help them, the faster we can get out of here. It'll be over soon, I promise. Alright, I'll help. It'll be much easier to catch the eggs while flying, anyway. Hehe. <laughs> 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 I knew he was going to say, ha <laughs> ha. That's the spirit. Alright then, it's agreed. The nests are this way, follow me. Now let's go then. Right. Alright guys, so we got another puzzle segment again, so let's swap over to the um, monitor perspective here once again. So catch the flying eggs and avoid the bullets. So P is pause? What? I need to pause it? Okay. Arrow WSK. Okay. Yeah, once again, it's one of these really, really kind of simple puzzles here. You dodge the birds, you float around grabbing eggs. This is something you would see in like a an NES game of all things. <laughs> kind of reminds you of the same graphics, just looks like they tried to use some photorealistic kind of trees, but, you know, definitely has some old school kind of NES, SNES kind of feels here music. <laughs> it's something you'd find in like a western slant. So 11 of 18, 60 seconds left. This, these puzzles, they're just so easy. This game is definitely for kids. 
I guess it's for kids, though. I mean, that's a whole lot of reading. Harry does seem cute. I'll give it to him there. The, the little bird thing does seem pretty good. So that was easy. You did it. So let's swap back over to our nice perspective here. The old school full screen perspective. So there's yours. Thank you so much. And here's yours. Bless you. Are we gonna go through like 18 of these birds? Thank goodness. I think that's the last one. <laughs> That really was a lot of work. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Ken. <laughs> P young people these days, they have no work ethic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Feels good, though, you know? Helping people instead of getting in their way. Mm. Not that I know about that. Haha, <laughs> 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 it does, doesn't it? I know what you mean. I don't really help, my help much at home. I'm too weak. It's good to know I can still help someone. Yeah! Looks like everyone is accounted for, so we can go to the forest if you're ready. <laughs> what, there's more? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Come on, Ken, grab my paws and let's get going. That's the spirit. Let's go. So another poison, or another, uh, another puzzle map. Again, we gotta go back to the desktop capture again. <laughs> get to the other side of the fin forest. Avoid the branches. So it looks like a, another simple light mechanic kind of puzzle here. This seems so, so easy. Like, this music's kind of relaxing, too. I could, I could go to sleep. <laughs> I can't, I can't get over how easy this is. Now, it's one thing making, like, little mini-games for little kids, but if you're making, like, a whole story with a bunch of narration and stuff, I don't know. I just don't see kids as being super pure anymore. I see a lot of kids playing Call of Duty and stuff, and, you know, I, it gives me good feels to think of kids playing something this simple and saying, hey, that was fun. I, I like Aerie. I like Ken and everything, but, you know, I don't see that nowadays. I'm a little bit cynical about that. Uh, so we got the non-full screen perspective again. I think if I just swap to this back again, it'll fix it. There we go. I don't even have to unclick that thing. Here we go. The key should be somewhere in the area. <laughs> Alright, let's get looking. Harry, you go over there. I'll look over here. Right. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> Every day they're shuffling. Wow. Ah, Ken, I found it like a green leaf key. All right. Oh, you did find what you were looking for. Yes, thank you so much. Oh no, thank you. You saved our eggs. I can't thank you for enough for all your help. Aw, it was nothing. And Ari, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You really aren't like the other Sphinx. Hmm. He's okay with him demeaning his people. It's fine. I can't blame you. I know how they... Wow. It's a self-hating prophecy. <laughs> Harry's like the white person of the game. <laughs> That's bad to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> really, though, forget about it. If you're sure, I am. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, we should move on. Right, Ken? Right. So, where do you want to go? So, I don't know why it still gives us some options for the old places, but now we go to the canyon. It's a quick journey. Whoa, this canyon is huge. Look how high the walls are. <laughs> yep, deepest canyon in all the land. Apparently full of treasure, too. Ah. Is that why you brought me here? All oh, this music's so weird. Yep, if there's any place to hide a cave, this is it. <laughs> Looks like we aren't the only ones who thought of that, though. Points to a group of small gray furry lamps poking out of the ground. Ah. What are those? They look a little like fur balls. <laughs> Not quite, they're tokens. They live in canyons and mine the walls for treasures. I didn't think they had spread to this one yet. And again, I haven't been here in a long time. Well, maybe we can just talk to them. It's not like we want anything else, right? <laughs> what use would they have with the key? I don't know. Travel to a treasure-filled land, maybe? Aww. Maybe. Aww. Maybe. Token are very greedy. Even if it's useless, they might still want to sell it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you're right. It's worth a shot. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Ah! Whoa, wait up. 
see what these toppings look like. Look like birds. They didn't even introduce the, uh, the little... Oh, wait, here they are. Okay, you can still talk to them. Tobin, z -z 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 -z. he's asleep. Oh, I almost couldn't tell. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Maybe we should leave him alone. Good idea. Unless he talks in his sleep. I still don't think that would help. Oh, all right, we'll go. I don't know why it will let me play the puzzle maps. Or won't let me play the puzzle maps in full screen, but it'll let me do this section. It looks just like the puzzles. Excuse me, mister, can you help us? Go away, kid, I'm busy. I know, I just need a minute. Didn't you hear me? I said scram. Wow. Hey, don't let him push you around like that. But, no buts. You want to go home, right? Are we going to fight him? You got to make them let you in. Use some force. You're right, Nari. You're right. Hey, you. Wow, we actually got pretty pretty tense there. All right, all right, what is it? We're looking for a key to Puzzle Gate. Have you seen it? Sorry, kid, I haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you can help me dig up some goods, I'll let you keep it if you do find it. <laughs> really? Yeah, sure. Go on inside, but be careful, it's amazing there. I'll tell my man you're on your way. I will help you if you need anything. <laughs> Just a heads up, though, they probably won't give away their supplies. You don't need to bribe them. <sighs> this game is a, taking a dark turn. <laughs> Bribe? <laughs> don't worry about it. I got a few coins on me. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll take that. Where? Don't worry about that either. Wow. He's killed many adventurers in his time as a boss. <laughs> Seriously, it's fine. Well, alright. Alright, so now we got another window breaking puzzle here again. <laughs> so let's see. I didn't see the controls there. Let me go ahead and reset it. I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to do. So I got money. So I guess I got to use the right amount of money. I got 550 gold. I guess this is the only one to talk to right here. <laughs> hey there, I don't suppose I can interest you in something. Got a lot of good things here, stranger. So let's see, what do I need? A pickaxe? Pickaxe sounds reasonable. Pleasure doing business with you. So what do I do with this pickaxe once I get it? Do I have it on me now? I don't understand this. Alright, let's head over here. I'm imagining the pickaxe is for, like, this thing here. Although it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, nothing there either. I thought I was going to be able to, like, chop through a wall or something. Let's try again. <laughs> let's see, so... Uh, a lantern. A board. A board probably wouldn't work for that one thing. Do I click this up here? It doesn't look like it. So let's see. How do I use the board, though? It's not letting me do nothing with that. It looks like a hole. Can we just <laughs> buy everything? Like, holy crap. Um, let's buy a bomb. Maybe that would blow up that thing. Alright. 265 left. This game's gonna teach me mathematics. Oh, there we go. Okay, that used the bomb. See what else is up here. So there's another guy here. What's he got? He's got the same stuff. He's just another Tompin or whatever he is, Toppin. <laughs> All right, what's up here? Another. I need another bomb. So let's get that other bomb here. And then there looks like there's a hole down there. All right, another bomb. Simple enough. Seems like a lot of tedious legwork here. Alright, so what's here? Did that kill me? Really? Whoops, looks like you fell down one of them holes. Let me just help you. And up, and you can try again. Oh, it put us back at the start. Alright, I tell you what, let's buy... <laughs> one bomb. <laughs> two bombs. <laughs> and a board. That should work out with stuff. I'm pretty sure the board will let me get over that hole. I still have no clue what that thing is there, though. Alright, oh, wrong way. I've already forgotten the little mini maze here. Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can just put this board. Oh, there we go. We patched up the floor. How quaint. Alright, so there's definitely some way you get over to that guy there. So, is it fire another board or something? Or a lantern? I don't understand what a lantern would be for. Let's try a lantern. Maybe that'll fix this thing up or whatever. 
Okay, yeah, I guess the lantern illuminates the darkness. Whatever. I, why did I do that anyway? Did I just waste money? I didn't need to see that penguin, did I? <laughs> I don't think I did. Whoops. Okay. So the key that I need is right there. Let me go back. So I, did, I didn't even need to go that way. So I need another lantern from one of these guys. I think it's quicker to get to this guy, actually, than going forward. That one place was a dead end. <laughs> so another lantern. Hopefully they gave me a lot of folding cash. Hopefully Ari's really decked out and I can just buy this stuff all day. It'd be pretty convenient. Alright, there we go. So there is another hole here. Am I going to have to backtrack again? Oh, backtracking in games. <laughs> I hate doing this. <laughs> I'm starting to dislike this game. If I treat it like a visual novel more so than a crummy puzzle game, <laughs> I think I like it more as a visual novel. But as a puzzle game, it's just terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd feel bad if like the you know the devs watch me, watch me watch this video if they if I I mean I'm not one to presume who whoever built this game watches this video eventually. But yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I got the key. Simple enough. <laughs> and now we're out of the puzzles. So back to full screen. There we go. Harry, Harry, look, I found it. <laughs> found at. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, that's a pretty fancy looking trinket, I'll admit. <laughs> Bet it fetches a pretty penny. Look at the stars in his eyes. That's cute. Huh? Hehe, <laughs> just kidding. I would never be able to sell it. Anyone who'd be able to recognize it, anyway. Besides, you earned it. Good job. Oh, thank you. Had me scared for a minute there. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Now skedaddle. <laughs> I'm so glad they used that word. Anyone looking for that thing must have big plans, and I don't want to keep you. <laughs> right, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Goodbye. Bye. You kids. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah. Oh, look, we have all the keys. All right. Oh, wow, you're right. We better go back to the puzzle game and try to unlock it again. Aww. Right. Ken, is there something Aww. wrong? <laughs> oh, nothing. Sorry. Let's go. He's thinking about staying, abandoning his parents. So, back to the puzzle game. Oh, impossible. You gathered all the keys. That can't. <laughs> it is what it is. You may place your keys. <laughs> Alright, now to solve this for once and for all. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I gotta swap back to the thing really quickly. There we go. Okay. Oh man, it still gives me that timer though. So I need to get this down here. Alright, I screwed up a little bit there though. Oh man, I'm messing up pretty bad here. I hate these kind of puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to go here. This probably doesn't go right there, but whatever. Alright, so we need to get this thing back up over here. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, get this over here, that down there, that there. Wow, it gives you plenty of time to solve it now, so never mind. Okay, so get that up there. Put that in the middle. Oh man, I don't want to move that piece, so we'll move this piece. I don't want to really move that piece either. Of course, this isn't really where it, where it needs to be anyway. All right, so uh, I am really super bad at these kind of things, guys. <laughs> super, super, super bad. All right, so that needs to go up in that corner up there. So let's get that thing up there. There we go. Okay. So this has no little bits or anything. That there, that there, that there. Okay, I'm starting to see, notice a little bit of a pattern here. Okay, that's looking right right there. I'm pretty sure that's right. So move this along here. Put this right here. Okay, that goes on the side wall there. Not quite the right spot for that big piece. That was the right spot for that, though. This goes here, it looks like. Yep, perfect. Okay, that goes there. It's coming together. Not sure if that goes there or not. Switch this over here. Bring it up a bit. 
This definitely needs to go way over there. This needs to go down. So let's try to move that thing inwards here. I'm pretty sure that's right. Hmm. Okay, let's just move this down really quickly here. How are we gonna handle this here? Man, I've kind of put my painted myself down into a corner a little bit here. I want to move this stuff. This stuff is supposed to stay here. Okay, up here. Does that go there? It looks like it might go there. Okay, that's back where it belongs. That's where it belongs. It's starting to look like it's about right. Still something's off this part here. Nope, not quite there. Okay, that doesn't look right either. It must be this part down there that I need to get to. I'm not seeing the border one though. Okay, move this stuff around here. There we go. Does this go here? I'm not even sure. That goes up on his face. I can tell now. Alright, there we go. This part's wrong. This is the body right here that I need to get to. Do need to get this down here too. Maybe that goes there. Maybe I will look out there. <laughs> Looks like it's still wrong though. So I need this here. How am I going to loop this around? That goes up here. No, move that down. Move that there. Oh, that, darn it. I've moved that thing so far away from the original spot. Oh man, I'm almost out of time. I can't solve simple puzzles, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, the borders look okay so far. Okay. Let's try to move these around just a teeny bit. Not too sure, not too sure. We need to shift them around somehow, like strategically. Now it looks like we can kind of move them. That looks right, right there. Okay, that doesn't quite look right. Hmm. Darn it. Hints? Does it give hints? It's still the... Uh, just when I need a hint, it doesn't give it. Uh, all these little puzzles. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not right. But maybe if we circle, rotate it around a little bit here, we can get it. Hmm. Let's move this inwards. Move this. Move this, move this, move this, move that, move that, that goes back there. Does that go up? I can't even say, say. Okay, no. Move this, that does not look right at all. Move this, move this over. Nope, still looks a little bit weird. This goes right there. This is like a like a leg part here. That looks right. That does look right. But we gotta get this over somehow. It's looking good except for that part. Oh, looks like we over, we almost got it. Almost. So close to getting it. Okay, that's definitely how it kind of lines up. It looks like maybe. Oh shoot. <laughs> We're getting low on time. Okay, move this over, move this over. That back. What, am I missing a piece? What is this? Oh, no, no, no. Where's the last piece? Click a tile and click the arrow keys to slide. I mean, it looks right. Am I missing? What am I missing? I don't understand. Have I been solving this like for no reason? Oh wait, I solved ah! it. Awesome. I just like fluke solved it at the end there. <laughs> All right. Ah, it's opening. Oh, that loud creaking. <laughs> That's it. We did it. Thank you so much, Ari. Let me save it just in case I crash or something. Oh, heh. I guess I zoned out. Anyway, it's no problem. Come on, let's go. Right. Now his parents are gonna kill Ari, probably. A road? 
I don't remember this. Oh. That's me. I've never been on this side of the gate. I guess it isn't a straight shot from our side to yours. <laughs> it must be. Oh well. That's no big deal, right? <laughs> yeah, it's probably nothing compared to what we've already gone through. Right. That was quite a trip, wasn't it? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I've never gone on an adventure like that. Aww. I'm at home. I get left out. So, weird as it was, this was really fun. Aww. It was, wasn't it? I owe it all to you. <laughs> if you hadn't helped me find the keys, I probably would have been stuck there forever. Aww. Aww. It was nothing. Aww. It was, though. Not many people would help com a complete stranger like that. <laughs> You're a really good friend, Ari. The feels. Aww. Ari, are you okay? Aw, oh, he's crying. Take me with you. Uh, huh? I'm sorry, sis, son, but the truth is, I wasn't just helping you. I wanted to get out of here. Here I'm just a nuisance. Aw, oh, poor guy. Because I'm a sphinx, people assume the worst. The fact is, I'm not good at being a sphinx either. I wanted a new start, so please let me go with you. Ari. <laughs> of course you can come with me. Why did you think you couldn't? Aw, oh, what a guy what a good guy. Good guy Ken. We're friends now. Thank you. Aw, oh, the feels. Aw, oh, what am I doing blubbering here? That won't get us anywhere. We've still got that other door to get to. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Plot twist. I'm afraid you don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who is that? <laughs> it's a feet. Wow, what are you doing? <laughs> I should be asking you that, Harry. Haven't you already caused enough trouble now you're 30? <laughs> Poor Shane. Hey, leave him alone. He doesn't have to stay if he doesn't want to. Leave this boy. You don't need him. I said leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone. I can go if I want to. Sphinx spreads himself low to the ground, covering the entire path. No, you cannot. I won't let you go. Stop this foolishness and come home. No! Stop! You want him back so bad, you'll have to fight me for him. Oh my gosh, dude. You're like a little kid challenging a big sphinx. Ah! Yeah, no. <laughs> fight you? I could crush you without trying. Do you really want something to do something so foolish? I know. Oh wait, I gotta go back to my kinwood. I know. That's why we'll fight. With a puzzle. I challenge you to a puzzle duel. <laughs> I know you can't resist the battle of wits. So do you agree? <laughs> If you want to lose your friends so desperately, so be it. I accept your terms. Ken, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't worry, Ari. Trust me. I'm the puzzle master. I won't lose. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> do your best. <laughs> I will. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Prepare to lose, boy. <laughs> okay. Wait, does this puzzle actually work on my screen? It looks like it does. All right, boy, here's your challenge. If you can solve this riddle, you may pass. A farmer, I'll know a riddle. I'm not good at these either. Let's go ahead and quick save. <laughs> this is cheating. A farmer is going to the market with three items, a goose, a fox, and a bag of beans. However, a river lies between him and the market. The animals are very hungry, so he knows if he leaves the goose with the fox, the goose will be eaten. Likewise, the goose will eat the beans if the farmer doesn't watch. There is a boat on the shore, but it can only carry one item. So how is the how must the farmer carry everything safely? Uh so do I just like drag and drop something? Who cares about the goose? So do you put the goose in the bag? Oops, I put the bag in that. It's like you made a mistake. The fox ate your goose. I'm feeling generous today. You may try again if you wish. That kind of defeats the point of a riddle. I didn't even mean to click that, to be honest. So, uh, let's go ahead and put the duck in there. That seems like it would be the logical way to go, right? Is it frozen? Oh, okay, so it's going to let me do it again. But the fox will eat him if I do that again. Hmm. But do I have to put the... I don't understand. Do I need to get the fox on the thing? No, that's not going to work because he's going to eat the beans, right? Hmm. I don't understand. This is probably like a really simple puzzle to you guys. A little riddle puzzle or whatever. But to me, it's kind of confusing me. <laughs> I'll throw the beans back on there. I'll throw the fox on there and he'll eat the goose. Right? Is that how it's going to work? Throw the beans across the river, if you ask me. 
Alright, so... The duck should be able to swim, right? So... Put the beans there... Take the duck across... Take the fox across... Take the board back... Take the duck back across... Wait, what am I doing again? Was I just trying to get all three across? Okay. What? You won? That's impossible. Not if you got second and third tries. <laughs> Quick save. Impossible. Defeated by a mere child. Hmm. So be it. You have bested me. You may pass safely. Ari. Grr. Don't think I'll forget this. You will always be a traitor to us. Wow, that's that's nice, bro. You could never return now. Good. I bid you farewell. Ah. So that's it. It should be. Whoa. I'm sorry. He must have followed me through the door. <laughs> well, he's gone now. All that's left is your door. <laughs> right. Well, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. How about you? I'll be honest. I'm a bit scared. Don't be. You'll love it. And my folks will love you. Ah. Really? Yeah. Whoa. They won't mind that I'm a monster. Don't be silly. You're no monster. <laughs> <laughs> If you say so, let's go. Oh, we're out. Ah! We're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Ah! Whoa, calm down. He's bouncing. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to be back. Well, I should go back to camp. I don't want my parents worrying. Come on, let's go. Aw, oh, best friends forever. I mean, it was a neat little story, but the gameplay, you know, I think the puzzles were definitely tacked on and not really the greatest kind of puzzle or anything. But, the, you know, the voice cast, the voice acting, what voice acting with the grunting there was, I like that. That was pretty, that was pretty fun. And the music, I definitely did enjoy the music too. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's Escape from Puzzle Gate. I mean, if you have any kids or something, you want them to just keep busy with a little kind of... You know, I wouldn't say the visuals are that that weird or anything, or low quality. I think this is a lot more high quality than Robot Exploration Squad. Even though it's still not, you know, up to that, you know, up to the level of greatness that you would expect from a lot of games. But it has its own little charm. So yeah, that was fun, guys. That was fun. You know, I liked the story and everything. It, it did, it did, it was pretty cute to me. <laughs> so that'll do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you next time.